What's going on everybody? UCF Jaguar back here with GenJag.com and I'm back with another position preview. Haven't come out with one in a little while so I got a little bit of catching up to do. So today we are going to be previewing the cornerback position. And if any of you guys are interested, I actually broke down the defensive back position group with another Jaguar YouTuber, Treep Talk. So you can find an extended kind of video in the links down below. But in this video we are going to be covering the cornerbacks. A very, very exciting position group because we happen to have two all-pro cornerbacks that we will speak about. So without further ado, let's get it. Last name ever, first name greatest, like a sprained ankle, boy, ain't nothing to play with. Now, like I was saying earlier, the Jaguars have two all-pro cornerbacks between Jalen Ramsey and AJ Boye. So we'll go ahead and start off with Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey was the number five overall pick in the 2016 NFL Draft. And to describe him in one word, it would have to be beast. This guy is an absolute animal. He is just physically gifted with how he's six foot one, just long arms. He's very fast, very strong. And just the way he's able to really play up against number one wide receivers, shut them down, is something that any team would really kill for. Now, another thing you'll notice about Jalen is that his mouthpiece is always dangling you always see his head bound up and down because he is one of the biggest shit talkers in the nfl i mean he caused an old man like steve smith to want to fight him you're an old man acting like that he caused a quiet reserved wide receiver like aj green to literally fight him i told him almost every play that he was weak that he was soft I told him that his time almost up uh, I told him that it was easy which it was he had one catch for six yards i was just out there spitting facts to him <laughs> it's just funny this guy he has so much swagger he has so much confidence in his game and he has he backs it all up man i mean he goes out there and just shuts guys down uh his technique is tremendous his gameplay is tremendous and he put out a tweet this offseason that if we thought he was good in the years prior to this year, you should see him coming up next year. So this guy, I mean, he's on a trajectory to really be a like Hall of Famer. I mean, this offseason or this season, he, he gained his first Pro Bowl. He was a first team all pro. He was number 17 overall in the NFL Top 100, jumping up from not even being in the Top 100. So he had a huge jump, and he had four interceptions on the year. So Jalen Ramsey is going to be a really fun guy to watch, and he is definitely going to be a cornerstone of the Jacksonville Jaguars team. And next up, we have A.J. Boye. A.J. Boye last offseason wound up signing a five-year, $67.5 million deal with 26 million of that guaranteed, we signed him over from the Houston Texans, and he actually turned down a bigger offer from the Chicago Bears to go play with the Jaguars. So I guess he saw this as a good fit for him. And AJ Boya, I mean, this signing honestly had bus written all over it. I mean, he was a guy that hasn't really achieved up to that level. It was really a signing more based on potential, but this guy was all we could have asked for and more. I mean, he earned his first all or first Pro Bowl ever. He was a second team All Pro. He was ranked number 35 in the top 100, and he had six interceptions on the year. And unlike Jalen Ramsey, AJ Boye isn't necessarily like had like physically gifted like Jalen Ramsey. However, this guy is a huge like technician of the game, and he is a huge film room guy. I mean, you can tell by watching him. He a lot of his interceptions and like deflections and stuff were basically played upon baiting the opposing quarterback to throw in a ball. I mean a perfect a perfect example of that was when Jimmy Graham against you know when we were playing the Seahawks, he was basically running uh, kind of a like a post pattern. And then Jalen Ramsey was kind of, or not Jalen Ramsey, but AJ Boyer was kind of shadowing him, uh, baiting Russell Wilson to throw it. And once he did, I mean he went over there and just got an easy interception. I mean Jalen or AJ Boyer tremendous player uh great technician great great film room guy then you know we saw him this offseason actually training with Jalen Ramsey so those guys combined to be the best duo of cornerbacks in the NFL now next up we have DJ Hayden DJ Hayden it was a free agent that we acquired this season from the Detroit Lions he signed a three-year 19 million dollar deal with nine and a half million of that guaranteed and he is basically brought in to replace Colvin the Jaguars did try to re-sign Colvin and Colvin really did want to be back with the Jaguars however he did make the decision to go to Houston Texans to be like a starting cornerback and honestly you can't be salty over this this was the best move 
for him. And Jack, as long as he was going to be in Jacksonville, he was always going to be in Jana Ramsey and AJ Boye's shadow. I mean, even when he'd had tremendous games where he wouldn't give up, you know, any catches where he'd have sacks. When whenever Dion would call, you know, if you ball, you get the call. He was talking to AJ Boye and Jana Ramsey. It wasn't Aaron Colvin. You know, Colvin was kind of in their shadows. He was almost like, you know, the runner up to Ricky Bobby. Uh, basically slingshot the other guys in there for, you know, the number one crown. And, yeah, I mean, Colvin, I wish him the best luck over in the Houston Texans, just not against the Jaguars. Uh, but DJ Hayden, I am kind of, I guess, a little bit worried about this guy just because he hasn't, he was a first-round pick back in, I believe, 2013. He has five years of NFL experience. He's dealt with some injuries, and uh, he just hasn't, I mean, he just hasn't been, like, too, too good. And I just do worry that the Jaguars may pick on him a little bit. One thing about Aaron Colvin was not only was he pretty good at coverage, but also him being in that slot position, he was closer to the ball if it were to be a handoff. And Colvin was a very, very underrated tackler. I mean, he could go in there and, you know, tackle guys for losses. He could go in there on the blitz and do all that very, very well. So we'll see how DJ Hayden can do that. I haven't watched too, too much film too much film on this guy so he'll be kind of a wait and see so next I mean some other guys that we have that will potentially make the roster are Tyler Patman he was basically last year playing in that backup nickel cornerback spot I did like everything I saw from Tyler Patman but it looks like the Jaguars didn't feel comfortable with promoting him to that slot cornerback position thus bringing in DJ Hayden off of free agency and we also have Jalen Myrick who was a 7th round pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. He was the fastest defensive back in the draft, so he was drafted a lot on potential, and he did wind up making a 53-man roster. He was playing in that backup outside role, so we had Patman as a backup slot, uh, Jalen Myrick as a backup outside corner of back, so he'll be going into his second year, so hopefully we expect uh, him to make the roster again and him to maybe be able to, you know, improve his game off of last season. You know, I expect both Tyler Patman and Jalen Meyer to be special teams guys. Now, another guy to look out for is Quentin Meeks. He was an undrafted rookie free agent out of Stanford. And, I mean, he had some high marks on him. He's like a good technician. He's good at all that, but he just kind of lacks a lot of physical ability. He's kind of slow, uh, slow acceleration, slow speed. So he's got to kind of build on that if he wants to be able to run with the NFL guys. So, you know, maybe he can be a practice squad developmental guy, uh, but we'll see what we do with him. Now, my positional grade on the cornerback position has to be an A+. Plus. I mean, you can't give it an A, or I, I'll say A-, minus. I should say. Uh, I mean, you can't give it a super A-plus just because, you know, we do have a questionable guy at slot cornerback. However, you have to get it in the A category because we have two all-pro Pro Bowl cornerbacks, and we have the best duo of cornerbacks in the NFL. And uh, these guys should only get better. These guys compete with each other to be, like, the best. And, you know, they have a really, really good relationship. So, really, these guys, I'm so excited for them going into uh, year two together. Um, you know, AJ Boy is entering his, I believe, sixth year, while Jalen Ramsey entered his third year. So these guys, I don't have any problem with those guys in their starting spots. These guys are tremendous players. So let me know what you guys think of the cornerback position in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.